All right, Ian. Here we go. Oh, something rattling around here. First thing you do is take unlock the battery, and take it out. So it shouldn't have power going on. Then you take a smaller Phillips head screwdriver, and there are one, two, three, four screws you're going to take out of this plate. This card that you're getting that's a replacement, there's a little latch right here. Just gonna lift up. It, it kind of snaps in. That's it. It's okay. As long as you get those screws undone, it'll snap out. I don't think I got this the wrong way out. Okay. Next, um, so your card that we're gonna take out is under here. So we're going to have to take out the fan first, which has a connector here. So we're going to take that connector out, and it runs, the routing is right under this little tab here when you put it back. And there's two screws in it, here and here. They're very small. And you have to match the screws up and put them back where you found them. There's one. Two. Try not to get the screws back, lose the screws into the... Then you can actually take them out. That's all you meant for now. All right, so we have to take this thermal device off first. And these are numbered one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And you do them in reverse order, but then you tighten them in the main order. So there's you doing four, four. First. Yep, because it's assembly order. Three, two, And then this is I'll just wiggle a little bit and it's going to pop out and then slide toward me just a little bit and pull this out. And you do not want to touch this grease. So I'm going to turn this upside down. Now we're going to take the one out, the cooler out, starting again with four. Keep these separate. I assume they're the same size, but I'm not going to mix them. Three, two, one. Okay, and then again, we're going to wiggle this a little bit. grease kind of makes it stick and it kind of swings out like that and again I turn that one upside down don't touch the grease and don't touch the grease over here this is your processor card it's got two screws in it it's kind of spring-loaded but they're sure very very short screws I mean I didn't mean processor card that's your VGA card that by the way is your main processor let's see it's kind of spring-loaded it pops up and it slides out. So then the new card will go in here. The new card is an ATI card, not an NVIDIA card. And then again, not touching the grease, you're going to push this down. Um, I'm probably going to have to get you some thermal grease for your new card because I bet it may not have it on and I have some at home and I'll send that to you. Or you can get it at the your local computer store. Okay, we got that. So that's tight, somewhat snug. We're gonna put this back in. You may, if you have, if you have to do the computer gre grease, you just put a small layer of it there, a dab of it, maybe uh, the size of a, I don't know, a pea. And then uh, when you push it down, it should smear a little bit. Again, it kind of goes in a little bit to one side. It slides underneath these tabs and then it should fit over those little metal like that. So it looks like that. And come in and look at this angle for a second so you can see. There you go. Then we're going to put the same screws back in in reverse order. I mean, the right order. One, two, three, four. Okay, there we go. 
Are they numbered on there? Yep. No, they are. They are numbered. And it'll tighten all the way down and just stop. The springs press on the heat sink and then that grease as it gets hot kind of melts a little bit. Not a normal compound. Oops, I did three before. Oh no, that's my three. And then four. It's giving me a long file. Mm -hmm. I hope it works. Do a lot of work if it doesn't. Okay, now we're gonna put this one back in. And it kind of tucks under here. There's a little tab here. You see that tab? And it goes underneath this other piece of copper. And then, then you swing over and all these go underneath like that. It kind of swings in. It's kind of a pain. But then it lines up. And the screws should line up. And then we do one, two, three, four. One. Two. Recording. <laughs> hey. Let's hope so. If it makes it work, it saves millions of dollars. I'll see we'll install the car himself. Right. Then the fan's gonna go back in. You remember you have the two little screws on it? Two screws, not three, even though there's a spot for three. Two. Now here's the most important thing. Remember to put the connector back in. Should slide in a little bit. There you go. And then this tack, this little wires go underneath that tab between the two, like so. Start in that corner over there, these tabs go in first, and then it should all snap in. Kind of. And then the screws, no order in particular. And then the battery. Okay, so this is an ATI card instead of an NVIDIA card, so you'll have to go get the ATI driver from, from, the, ATI website. 